Formentera is a Spanish island in the Mediterranean, a little south of the better known island of Ibiza. Just 19 kilometers long, it has a population of 10,000, spread over a handful of towns and villages. Without an airport, most people get to the pristine beaches of Formentera by taking a ferry from Ibiza. However, with only 6 kilometers separating the islands, and with lots of even smaller islands in between, I decided to kayak instead. So I've just got to Ibiza. I took the overnight ferry here from uh, Barcelona. So I've been, I was on the ferry from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock this morning. And now, just riding away from the port. I'm on a folding bike. I have a dog carriage behind me. And within that dog carriage, I have a inflatable kayak. And so the plan for today is to cycle as far south as I can on Ibiza. I think the southernmost point is about 13k from where I am at the moment. And then I'm going to blow up my kayak and try to paddle over to the neighboring island of Formentera. Um, you can take a ferry there in about 40 minutes. So I'm thinking it's going to take me quite a few hours to paddle, but there's quite a few little islands on the way, some very small islands that you can't access uh, by ferry. So I'm planning to stop off on those on the way and check those out and hopefully get to Formentera at some point this afternoon. So I've made it to the southern point in Ibiza, I'm on a beach called Calapuma and Formentera is just a few kilometers away over there behind all those yachts. So I think this looks like a good spot to, to leave from. It's possible to go a little bit further south. There's a tower over there which seems to be probably the closest point to Formentera on Ibiza. However, it's a little bit tricky walking with my bike on the sand and I'm not sure if there's a path that's going to take me to that tower. So I think I'm going to get my kayak set up here and then I'll start heading over to Formentera and hoping to explore lots of little islands along the way.
right, so I'm underway. And I've just set off from Calapluma. Um, nice and easy so far. Water's very still. I'm very lucky with the conditions because it's completely flat today. It's uh, early September. And it's about 30 degrees. And yeah, perfect conditions. Nice uh, turquoise water, nice and clear. Um, so for the moment, I am just heading down the coast. So this is the beach that I left from, Calapluma. And I'm heading very slowly down this beach. I have to guess I'm probably going about one mile an hour. So it's going to take me a few hours at least to get to Formentera, but not a bad way to spend a few hours. So the plan is to try to break up the paddle a bit. Um, I'm going to head down towards here. There's a tower there, so that's probably the southernmost point of Ibiza or the point of Ibiza that's closest to Formentera. Um, and near that tower are some very small islands. Um, I'm not sure whether they will come up just yet, but yeah, to break up the trip, I'm gonna stop off at as many islands as I can along the way. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. Just head down the coast and see what there is to see. Heading south, I passed two tiny islands just off the coast of Ibiza, but they were too rocky to stop on. The third island was once used for the execution of pirates, whose bodies were left hanging as a warning to others. Not seeing anywhere to land on this island either, I paddled past the lighthouse on its southern tip and cut across a wide shipping lane. After paddling into the wind for an hour, I finally arrived at another island with a lighthouse and took my first break in a small cove. So this is the island that's sort of just north of Formentera and as you can see there are lots of boats anchored down the coast and I think that's because, well I hope it's because there's a long beach that's going to take me towards the south, the south of this island and if that's the case I am going to go to the beach and get out and walk with the boat for a while to give my shoulders a bit of a rest.
right? So I finally made it to the end of that island, which is just somewhere there behind me. And now Formentera is very close by, perhaps just a couple hundred meters in front of me. I'm gonna try to show you without swapping my phone. So yeah, just gonna paddle on over. Um, should be there in a matter of minutes. And then we're gonna try to find the, the nearest road and then set my bike back up and start pedaling again because my shoulders are tired and I'm looking forward to using a different part of my body. Right, so everything packed up again. Kayak in the dog carriage, bike unfolded, carriage attached to bike. Glad to be uh, back on land, to be honest. Had a great time doing the rafting, but it was uh, quite a long time in the water. Don't know how long exactly, maybe nine hours or something, eight or nine hours. It's a long time kayaking, so happy to be yeah, back on land. So now I'm just gonna keep on heading down this path and then go find my hotel. Uh, so if you've watched this much, thank you very much. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe. When it clicked on the trot over in the back. We brushed and we braided dandelions and chew. It was a mutual arrangement.